I am currently on a no buy with makeup, but I broke it for one thing. I just got in the mail today this lip from Fenty Beauty and it's the shade Faya Proof in their Velvet Liquid Lipstick Formula. I saw Isabel Kate on Instagram was wearing this shade and it just looked like this perfect orange red shade that I love and gravitate towards and the formula looked really interesting. I've been really wanting to try this formula by Fenty. So I caved on my no buy and I got this lip and it came in the mail today and I wasn't gonna film today but then I was like, I really, really wanna try this lip and see how I first come up with a look with it. So the theme of this video today is, is doing a bold red orangey lip and I'll show you my process for how sometimes I'll do my makeup when I want the lip to be the focus or when I have a new lip shade that I'm not really sure how it's gonna pull on my complexion. Anyway, I do the lip first and then build the makeup look from there. And I thought this lip coming in the mail was the perfect opportunity to do that. Also, it has a very cool holographic thing going for it. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I haven't tried this formula either. It's giving to me like a lip cream that's also a liquid lip vibe. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to line first with a brown liner. Since it's a liquid lip, I wanna put some structure down so I can follow that. I'm going in with a brown liner. This is Cork from MAC. There's a shape laid out with a brown, a warm brown liner. And now I'm going in with the lips. So I do have foundation on, brows, and a little bit of bronzer. But the reason I like to do this is essentially so once I have the lip on, I can like see which tones I wanna go for with the eyeshadow and with the blush. Because sometimes I'll want to be doing like a bold red and I'll do the eyes first. And then once I put the red lip on, I'm like, ah, this is too much. Like, and then I have to wipe it off. And my whole intention for makeup of the day is, is uh, thwarted. So anyway, this is a great technique if you want to really focus on the lip. Wow. Oh my God. Here is the lip. I have to say, feeling pretty happy about this and maybe it was worth the no buy. I'm gonna go forward with uh, some more makeup, but I wanted to swatch it with a couple other shades. See, when I saw this online, I'm like, don't, don't buy it because you have so much makeup. Me, I have so much makeup. And like, what lips would it be similar to? And I was thinking MAC Marrakesh, which is a favorite of mine. I really like a warm brick red. So I swatched a couple similar ones for reference. So this is MAC Marrakesh, classic MAC formula. And then I have from Ola Neon, there's the shade Boom in the middle. That's their velvet liquid lipstick formula, so similar to this formula. And then on the bottom is the Fenty. The Fenty has like almost this richer garnet to it. A little bit more purpley tone, just like richer. So I do find it distinguishable from that. It's, it's just got this deep potency to it. So I'm very happy with this lip so far and I'm gonna base the rest of the look off of it. So to honor this rich, warm red, I'm gonna use the Luna Roots Color Magic in Inner Embers. Luna Roots is a really cool brand because it's all plant-based made with organic and wild harvested ingredients. I have a full makeup look using Luna Roots products from one of my first videos. Anyway, I think that this will go really well with this tone. When in doubt, honor the same colors going on with the lip. You could definitely go another direction, like maybe more brown, maybe pink, but I'm going for a monochrome. And it's pretty wild, this brand, that this is all plant-based, like. 
and it's a women-owned business, small business, so I do re recommend supporting. I think that was the perfect choice. It's giving very, like, vintage to me. I don't know why, but it's like almost like these tones are taken from like clay or something. I have this vision that if I ever get married, I don't know why I say it like that. I have this vision that if I ever got married that I would wear a red lip and I've been sort of in the back of my mind thinking like, which red, which red? This might be the red. And I love the idea of keeping the eye just like so minimal. My mom said that she once went to a wedding and the bride had red hair and all she wore was a red lip, nothing else, like no mascara. And that she still remembers it to this day because it was such a unique look. And I, I'm kind of getting that here. I think it's very classic, ethereal. Anyway, powder, because I've got some pretty dewy foundation and products on. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with this look. I'm gonna keep the eye pretty minimal though, I think. This just is so perfect to me already. I'll just create definition a little bit. This is the Hindash palette, the Butopsy. I'm gonna deepen the crease between this sort of very light, light brown and this. And I'm gonna be honoring the warm tones because I think that that'll pull nicely with the lip and also sort of shift my eyes into more green rather than blue, which I think looks good with with this red. Just softly creating some definition. With a small pencil style brush, that's what I'm gonna go into this one to go along the lash line. Nothing precise, just some, again, definition. Now I really think that's it for eyes. See, this is why I like the idea of doing a lip like this first because initially when I was thinking of a look, I was imagining maybe going a lot heavier on the eyes, but I think we need to honor this vivid red and let it shine by such a minimal eye. I'm on the fence about like glow, whether to add a highlight. I think I'll add a little bit, why not? This is from What's Up Beauty, they're Serenjiti. I don't really know how to say that, Serenjiti? palette very cute gonna go in with a soft gold highlight this right here and the littlest bit like on the through the middle of the eyelid to the brow bone something's just so 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 subtle i am almost tempted to not do mascara with this look. I don't know, it's giving a vibe, but it feels way too against my nature to do that. I feel like, like I like it now, but if I was walking and I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror, I'd be like, oh girl, you need lashes. But I think you could maybe rock this without the lashes. So instead, to put a bit of definition, but nothing too heavy, I'm gonna go in with one of the mascaras from How To Be A Redhead. They have mascaras specifically designed for redheads. One that's very cool, it's a bit too light for me, but if you're a very like um, sort of strawberry, blonde, lighter ginger, the Perfectly Auburn, I just wanna show you just how gingery that is, like very, very light. I'm gonna instead go in with their brown with a splash of red, which is more like an auburn. And I think that that'll maintain this sort of minimal, natural eye. And this is the finished look with lashes. I'm loving this. I realize what it reminds me of a little bit. Um, Rose from Titanic has this pretty distinct, deep garnet but warm red, I swear, I think. <laughs> That's what I mean by this sort of vintage-y feel to it. Anyway, yeah, I kept it so minimal with the eyes, I just felt like this was right for this, this lip. But yeah, this isn't meant to be like, you should just go buy this Fenty lip, more just like, how might you introduce 
a bold red lip into your look, into your day. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty happy about breaking the no buy for this. I feel like this is a red I've been searching for. It just has a bit more richness than Mac Marrakesh. And I, I like the formula. Now they say liquid lip, but let's see how much transfer happens. There was a little bit. See? But uh, I actually like that better. I don't like a full liquid lip that dries down totally. I don't like how it stays so dry and it's kind of hard to build the product up. I like that this is maintaining a creaminess. That's just me. Yeah, I hope this was helpful for how you might um, introduce a shade like this. Let me know in the comments down below any of your favorite red lips, especially if they're like a warm brick red like this. I love to know some dupes for anybody who wants to maybe recreate this. You don't need to buy the product, okay? You can dupe it out. I'm wondering if Lisa Eldridge Velvet Cinnabar might be similar. I haven't, I don't have that one, but it's been on my list for a while. Maybe similar vibe. I'm obsessed with this lip. I don't have regerts. I am justifying breaking my no buy by saying this was a 30th birthday present to myself. Sometimes you gotta justify breaking the no buy and for me, uh, yes, this is it. This is the red I've been searching for. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Stay witchy, stay bitchy. Bye, witches.